The ex-Niger Delta militants, under the auspices of Leadership, Peace and Cultural Development Initiative, LPCD, play support for the new amnesty chairman, retired Brigadier Paul Boro. In a press conference held in Yenagoa by Elsa State, the leaders of the ex-militants representing the nine Niger Delta states call for a total support of the amnesty program under the new leadership and ask for extension of the program to allow ex-militants who are undergoing various training abroad to complete their courses. The entire leaders under the Leaders in Peace and Cultural Development Initiative, LPCDI, with the nine coordinators representing leaders from the nine Niger Delta states are strongly in support of him. This is because in just a little time, he has piloted the affairs of the program without fear or favor. And we believe that given the right atmosphere and time, he will direct the program to the benefit of all and for the achievement of the Niger Delta and development of the last in the Niger Delta region. The ex-militants also condemn pipeline vandalism across the Niger Delta. This support is an affirmation of the ex-militants to the present administration to curb criminality in the Niger Delta region. We wish to use this medium to condemn the pipeline bumpings in Delta and Bias State. We advise all consigned to stop Charles Dustley Act as it will only bring the region back to the dark days and ultimately hinder any form of development in the area. We encourage them to embrace peace as it is the most important ingredient for sustainable development. Pipeline vandalism has been a recurring issue in the region and the ex-militants and their cohorts have been accused. Recently, Nigeria has lost millions of dollars due to pipeline vandalism and power supply has been disrupted due to low gas supply through the vandalized pipelines.